Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I want to tell another story of uh, Rav Menachem Mendel of Kosov, not Menachem Mendel of Kotsk, somebody else. Menachem Mendel of Kosov. Uh, this was a disciple of Moshe Lieb of Kosov. Well, one day, he's sitting in his study, and the Jew from Kosov uh, came to him. And this Jew was one of the, the Miznagdim. He was one of the people who were known to be opposed to the Hasidic way of life, enemy of the, the Hasidim. In those days, it was uh, hotly uh, contested between the Miznagdim and the Hasidim, and they it wasn't one big happy family like we are now. So this Ms. Nagid comes into the office, closes the door, and starts telling Rabbi Menachem Mendel that he is marrying off his daughter, and um, he didn't have the money for her dowry. In those days, you paid a dowry when you married a, a daughter. And he begged Rabbi Menachem Mendel for advice on how to earn the sum needed to, to marry uh, his daughter off. How much for the dowry? He just he didn't know how to come up with the money. So he's begging Rabbi Menachem Mendel. So the Rabbi asks, well, how much do you need? He goes, a few hundred gulden, a lot of money. Rabbi Menachem Mendel nods, opens up some drawers in his desks, empty them out, counts out the money, and gives him several hundred gulden. Gives it to him, not alone, gives it to him, a gift to the man. And the man is, uh, gives the money to the man. Soon after, the tzaddik's brother, Menachem Mendel's brother, hears of what happens. He comes to the house and he takes uh, the Rebbe to task and saying, whenever something was needed in your own house, you said you don't have the money to spare. You don't have the money to spare. And now you gave such a large sum of money to a misnagid, one of the misnagding, the people who hate us, the people who, who are opposed to us. You gave money to your adversaries, to your enemies. And Menach Mendel sat at his desk and smiled. And he said, um, actually, it's funny you should say that because um, someone was here before you. And he said basically the same thing, except uh, he expressed himself much better than you did. And the brother says, yeah, who, who was it? And Mendel, uh, Rabbi Mendel replied, it was the Sultan, the Yetzirah. It was the evil inclination. When the, Miznag, when the Miznagid came to him and asked for the money, the Yetzirah was whispering in Rabbi Menachem Mendel's ear, what, you're going to give money to this guy? You're going to give money to your adversary? Well, he couldn't, he, he's got to come to you of all people. You, you need money. You, you've got a family. You've got a house. You've got people to support. Him you're giving money to? Someone came before you, his brother, and it was his own Yetzirah. It was the son what is miscalled uh, or misunderstood as Satan, uh, the, little, the little devil on, uh, on the shoulder. He was tempted. He was tempted not to give the man anything, to tell him to just take a hike. But he didn't. He overcame the Yetzirah, and he gave money to his adversary. He gave money basically to his enemy so that he could marry a daughter. This is the Ahavis is royal. The doing what's right and what's good. Um, may we all be inspired uh, by Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Kosov to act similarly when uh, that little devil on our shoulder uh, whispers in our ear, don't do that, don't do this, do this, do that. Close our eyes and do what's right and do what's good. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. 
And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.